Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of March. If you are new, the TBR takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread shelves from about 200 down to approximately 50 is kind of the goal I think at this point. For the month of March I started with a total of 192 books on my shelves and we will first go over my purchases. The first purchase for the month is one that does not count. It is Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young and this does not count because I have already read this book. I loved it. It was one of my favorite books of 2019 but I didn't own a physical copy so I bought a physical copy. This book follows Aelin who lives in a world that's kind of Viking-esque and she lives in this clan that has always had a battle with another clan. They have this time of year every four years where they basically just battle it out for an extended period of time and then regroup for four years and then come back and battle again and it's a thing that they do based off of what their gods tell them. In the very beginning of the book, so it's not a spoiler, in the very beginning of the book Aelin is on the battlefield and she sees her brother fighting for the other clan. Aelin knows that her brother is dead. She had seen him die in the previous war. So she is naturally freaked out. And this book essentially follows Aelin trying to discover if her brother's still alive and if he is why he's fighting for the other clansmen and it involves kind of the two clans learning to have to come together to fight an even bigger enemy. And the second book that I hauled that I do not currently have in my hands is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. It is the first book in the Last Hour series. I learned that to my aunt. She reads the Shadowhunter series so once I finished it it went to her. The Last Hours, if you are familiar with the Shadowhunter series, The Last Hours follows the characters of the Victorian era books, so the characters from the Infernal Devices. We're talking Jem and Tessa and Will et al. The story follows them. I have heard people say that you don't need to have read the prior series to read the series and I'm gonna disagree on that one. Not because I feel like it's important to the story necessarily, but I think if you don't know the characters it's gonna be a hard introduction to the world. Me who has read everything published up to this point that is Shadowhunters, I even had some issues with characters trying to keep people straight. So I think if you are going to read it you definitely would want to read the Infernal Devices series first. That being said, you don't need to have read the Mortal Instruments or the Dark Artifices because those happen after the other two so it's a weird world in this to be a Shadowhunters fan it's 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 um there are entire websites dedicated to trying to explain this to you so I'm going to stop now. And now I will quickly go over the books that I read during the month if you want to know more about my thoughts or get a description for the books I will link in the description box below as well as in the cards my wrap-up video where I go over all of these. So the first book that I finished was The Ghosts of Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Brees Renan, Robin Wasserman, Kelly Glink, Maureen Johnson, The Usual Suspects, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, and A Mirror by Emily Bourne who is a fellow author tuber on YouTube. And then there were none by Agatha Christie, which does not count as I do not own a physical copy. Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Welcome to Lagos by Chibundu Onuzo. And finally, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I had zero unhauls or DNFs this month. Do -do 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 -do. This is me trying to do math. 192 <laughs> plus one is 193. That part's easy. Okay. And then I read eight books and one of those doesn't count. That's seven, which makes it 186. 186 books on my physical TBR, which means we're going in the correct direction. I can tell you that it is the first week of April and I did a book outlet order this month. Probably not going to be good for April. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I guess you'll just have to come back at the end of April and see how many books I was able to read and hopefully it'll balance itself out. But you know, a girl country. I think if nothing else, I recently did 
um, a bookshelf tour and a tour of my TBR shelves. Again, I'll link those down below. And one thing that I kind of thought about as I was doing it was there were quite a few books that I just am not interested in anymore. And it's not that it's like a book that I'm just not interested in, but it's books that I've read, like the first book in the series, and it's like, that's eh, okay. I just don't want to continue on, I guess, is kind of where I'm going with that. I feel that way about a couple of different books, and some that, like, the first book was one of my favorite books, but then the second book was a letdown, and I just don't really want to go into the third and try to see how I feel about some of the books that I have left. And I will be doing another try a chapter. I don't know if that's going to go before or after this one, but I am doing another try a chapter, TBR jar book haul rewind amalgamation. I did one in January and I will be doing one again in April. So there's a lot of interesting things coming up in the future, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I guess that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos, Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!